Well, although I really don't like Christmas much, I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I sort of have and haven't, actually. I'm going to talk in front of the camera. Well, what were you expecting to see? Just a monitor on the screen for the whole video? Anyway, like I was saying, it's Christmas Day here and, you know, I've had a few things. I get half of it on Christmas Day, and then we go over to a relative's house and I get all my other presents. So I sort of have two Christmases in the same year, you know, two days running. Anyway, my computer's been misbehaving. And this is my computer. There's the monitor, and another thing that you cannot see it is the system box. Well, it is there. This stupid camera's not seeing it. Anyway, I've been having trouble with this computer. Now I'm just going to boot it up, so you'll just set up and look, oh. stare at the monitor for a while. Okay, there we go. I'll turn the camera's light off as well. This thing has been causing me nothing but problems. Sometimes it would just turn itself off for no reason whatsoever. Other times it would reboot all of a sudden without any kind of warning at all. And I've been having trouble playing wind, um, playing, playing videos. Videos would play really, really slowly and... I don't, actually, I don't think this is even doing anything. Because the thing ain't moving. Well, it would seem like another problem has um, come up with this computer. It is not booting up. It seems to have crashed on the Windows Start screen. I have no idea why it's done that, but it apparently has. That's just effing marvellous, isn't it? I reinstall Windows. It was running fine last night, and now it seems to have messed up. I'm going to press the reset button. Right. And it seems to have frozen on the thing. This is one of the things it was doing the other day. I think the hard drive isn't connecting to the motherboard properly. So, I've got to do a lot of work on this computer to get it going again. Okay, so... Turn the thing off. Oh. Oh, would you believe it? Now the power switch on the power supply is not working and this thing is constantly on. Okay. Hold down the power button until it goes off. Right, just wiggle these connectors about on the hard drive. We better pull the power out first. Okay, I'll just wiggle these connectors about. Okay, plug the power back in and see what we get now. I tell you, I'm sick and tired of this computer being so retarded. Never working. Right, let's go up to the monitor. See if it works this time. Oh well, we got past that bit. Oh, that's a bit of good news. Now let's see if Windows will actually boot up this time. Okay, start Windows normally. So anyway, that's one of the problems this computer's been doing. And I think it's just done it all over again. Yes. So, with this computer messing up, this has been a really, really good Christmas, I can tell you. Okay, I'm just going to hold the power button in until it turns off, of course. Right, I'm going to connect up the second hard drive. I've got it connected to the motherboard, not just power. Okay, that's that other hard drive in. Let's see what we get this time. Actually, if that first hard drive is still causing problems, it might not. Yeah. Oh. Of 
course, when all else fails, let's see what that does. There we go. Alright, okay. Well, I'm going to go into Zorin Linux and just see if that other hard drive is even detected. And we'll see where we go from there. So anyway, apart from the computer being a complete bitch, there's another little project I'm going to go on. Um... These speakers here, which do not really have a very good sound. I mean, really. Can't really expect much from small, tiny little speakers like this. Well, at least the uh, operating system is loaded. Gotta give it a password, it is Linux. But anyway, these speakers are really cheap-ass things. Actually, I think I did a video on this where I had to replace the transformers. I mean, the power transformer. Anyway, I'm going to take this apart and use the amplifier out of these speakers and connect it to these bigger speakers which I've got down here, which should give a much better sound, especially when I put these in a proper enclosure and things like that. Actually, I'm going to use the shelf as the enclosure. So anyway, Zorin Linux is loaded up. Zorin OS, or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to see if the hard drive even appears. Oh, well. Yeah, it's there. The camera cannot see it for some reason, but uh, for some reason that's appearing as completely white. You know, I think that's because I've got the... Because I had the exposure turned up way too much. So, um, yes, it seems to be doing something now. When it doesn't work, everybody, thump it. That usually fixes things. Well, let's see if Windows boots now. Or if it will just freeze up again. Wow, it's actually moving. Look, you can see it moving. I think the computer's going to work today. It's a bit later on now. I'm going to talk quietly because Mum's up here. The computer does seem to be working. And as you probably know, this is a freshly installed Windows XP. I've got my mod plug tracker installed and my Damien tools and I've tried to install Adobe Premiere. Let me just I've installed it, but it doesn't work. It's always worked on this computer before, and now it won't. And I think there's a problem with QuickTime and that's what's causing this to not work. Because when it was installing, the QuickTime part of the installation didn't go through properly. So, I'm going to try manually installing QuickTime and see if that fixes anything. Right, okay. I have QuickTime on here. Somewhere. There it is, quick time. This is quick time seven, I think. Let's install that and see if that fixes the problem with Adobe Premiere. This computer is not connected to the internet, so it won't be able to update. Right, okay. Quick time is now installed. I run Adobe Premiere and see if it works. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, 
Okay, it appears to be working. Next thing I'll get on with is making those speakers, but I'll do that in another video. So anyway, I've got to get this all edited and put on YouTube now, so until next time, goodbye.